In this tutorial, we're going to talk about templates and asset importing in Industrial Park. So this is the scene as we left it from the previous tutorial. I'm going to get rid of this trigger since I'm not going to use it anymore, at least for now. So I've already taught you how to place a template, which is you have to turn on template focus for the hip and then choose the template that you want to place and right click and while sh holding shift to place the asset in the scene. So we're going to go a bit more in depth with that right now. Here you can see enemies and we're going to place this one further right here. Now, if you take a look in the archive editor, you're gonna see that there were two assets which were placed, which is the father and the MVPT. Let, let me turn on this. Um, I think this is getting in the way right now, so I'm just gonna turn it off. This is from the other father. Let me turn off the triggers too. I'm gonna hide this and this and this all of these remember you can just click on the checkbox to hide them this doesn't delete the asset and they will still be in the game they will just not show up here so we have our father placed and the MVPT So we can move both of them and this MVPT it looks like a trigger and it kind of acts like one you see here you can see the distance I can see you which is the distance from which the father can see you the movement radius is like the radius of the circle movement that the father is going to do while in it you can actually place this even if you like if you place him here he's gonna move all the way here and start moving inside the circle because this is his area and it's possible to make him move along points like I think these points are father in piece as well see this is a point and this is an area and those are both MVPT assets and there are different types of MVPTs we can talk a bit more about those later but I'm not gonna do that right now so we place this father. Let's not forget that the one that we hit is still here. And the father isn't the only template you can place. Like I can place purple shiny objects here if I want to. And just right click while holding shift and it's gonna place all of them. This is taking longer than it should, but these are the, the shiny objects. Um they are showing up as cubes because the shiny object models they are in they are not in the hip or the hop of the level they are in boot.hip the file which I told you is loaded at all times so we can just open it in another archive editor if we want the shiny objects to show um, there they are I had to press C to make them visible because otherwise they will be only visible from this side. C is the shortcut for culling. You can toggle culling and wireframe here. So I've placed the shiny objects from the templates. Let me see any other template we want to place right now. We have buttons, we have the the other thing that Sandy can hang from. Um, I'm going to talk about these another time. Also these. Let me see. Floating Tiki. Let me place a few of them here. When you right click the scene, the template is going to be placed right where you click it. So when I'm clicking right now, I'm clicking on top of the sphere. So it's finding the sphere and placing the templates right on top of them. So if I want to place like 
all the way over there I could just right click this and it's gonna place my template all the way over there and if I click on nothing like over here it's gonna it's just gonna place it right next to the view so coming back here I've placed a few templates I'm gonna add let me see a hammer here and another one here and we're gonna see if it works in game now by the way you can change these if you want to like this is I can see you can make it smaller So the templates that we placed are here, but what if we want to place something that was not in the level before? Say we have, um, I don't know, a sleepy time template here. You can't just place it in the level and expect it to work because it won't. If you want the sleepy time to work in jellyfish fields, you have to import it before. And we're going to do that now. So in the hop, click on edit and import hip archive. So here in this folder, I have the hips with many of the different assets of the game. And I'm going to give you the link to these. So you can just click on import hip and choose the sleepy time one, which is this one. This should be enough for the sleepy time to work in the stage. See all of the models and the textures and everything of the sleepy time. They are now in the hop. So save the hop in the archive editor, open the hip, make sure the template focus is on for it and we can place the sleepy time template now um, let's put it here let's add another one i don't know over here let's place the moving one instead save I think I've saved the hop already So we have that working, let's play some more stuff. Here in the hop, um, we're gonna import the hip for, let me see, the chuck and the thunder tiki, since there isn't a thunder tiki originally in JF01. Um, anything else? How about Cindy? 
Okay, so Chuck, Sandy, and the Thunder Tiki. They are all here now, and there's a lot of new layers in the hop. Each one with some of the assets, so we can go and click on Collapse Layers. This is going to make sure there is only one of each layer type. This makes it a lot less cluttered here. You don't have to do it if you don't want to, but I like to do it just to keep it organized. So let me see. I'm going to place Chuck with a trigger. And he's going to be, I don't know, over here. Let me turn on the triggers. So as you can see, there's a chuck, there's an MVPT in which it moves, and there's the trigger that actually triggers the chuck to start attacking you. So we're gonna put it here and make it a bit bigger. We have the chuck now, let's place our Tundra Tiki. Let me turn off the triggers again. As you can see, the, the things that we are placing, they aren't showing up with textures in Industrial Park. This is happening because when we exported te the textures, we did that before we added the new assets. So if you added a few, if you imported a few hips, and you want them to show up with textures here, you're gonna have to export the textures again. So we added the chuck, we added the Ternity key, and we added Sandy, but there's no way to change this to Sandy without a bus stop. Or you could use the the character select cheat code as well, but we're gonna place a bus stop. So I have the bus stop hip, which we haven't imported yet, it's right here. Save this. And we're going to choose the bus stop template. And I'm going to place it, I don't know, here. There's a lot of stuff here now. If you look in the hip, you're gonna see that there were like seven different assets which we placed. The bus stop is made of, of seven assets. And you can even remove some of them if you want to. Like the, the bus stop itself, it doesn't need to be here. It just needs, um, it just needs the marker and It just needs the marker and the dyna. But anyway, this is the bus stop dyna, it's what controls it, and we're gonna set it to change to Sandy. Player is the player which the bus stop changes you to. You can find the dyna over here as well, bus stop dyna. Player zero is Patrick and one is Sandy, so set it to one and save the hip. Save the hop and we're gonna test it. We added a lot of stuff, so it is possible that the game will crash at this point. Sometimes it's not good to add that much stuff to the level, so you're gonna have to play a bit with it. I recommend only adding one thing at once. The rolling green hill. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Very good here, but there's Cindy. We should have a better time just killing these robots. Um,
So I think that's it. I've already showed you a lot of stuff and this should already allow you to make some interesting modifications to the game. So thanks for watching and see you next tutorial.